Hi, Norman. How you doing? I'm doing great, Killer. How about you? Great. Do you have a good nap? Haven't had one yet, but believe me, one is coming. All right. Are you ready for some fastballs coming your way? Oh, Killer, this is going to be like Mike Wallace in the old days of 60 Minutes. All right. So here's number one for you. All right. Norman, how's your compound going so far? My compound going great. We had great food last night. Didn't get much of a good sleep last night, but I will tonight. There's sports on TV. I haven't seen all my friends for a long time. It's going great. All right, Norman. What's been your favorite part of the compound, and what are you looking forward to most with the last 24 hours? Well, I'm looking forward to sharing some red wine with Giorgio tonight. The problem is, I've heard Giorgio assure about four other people he was having drinks of different kinds with them so i'm thinking that probably i better catch giorgio early tonight with the red wine like around three o'clock you think yeah i'm thinking that something like happy that right hour. after my nap yep happy hour time with georgie all right norm have you ever been on gordon's nature hike I'm not sure. I'm not sure what that is, and I'm not sure I want to know. Is that a euphemism for something? No. Okay. Like, would you Would you go on a nature hike with Gordon? If I could hike these days, I would go on a nature hike with Gordon. All right. All right, Norm. Being this deep in the woods for this year's campout, is there anything that you're afraid of being out here? I don't think so, because the dreaded mosquito has been taken care of. Nothing else? No Bigfoot? No bears? You're not worried about anything? I'm not a believer in Bigfoot, okay? I'm not sure bears roam around this particular area, unless it's somebody like Yogi Bear. Uh, but I maybe there's a coyote around this area that I'm have a little fear of. Okay. So far... Who have you seen the least, and who have you seen the most while campounding this year? I've seen the most of Donnie Dew, but that figures because I'm his broadcast partner. I've probably seen the least, maybe, of Gordon. Because when Gordon's show ends and we crosstalk, Gordon becomes a ghost. Uh, and, and Gordon isn't one to come out and just be riveted on a Mavericks or a Stars game. Okay. Norm, do you have any recommendations or tips for anybody thinking about compounding? Oh, yeah. First of all, do it. Pick a place you'll really love. And, and though this isn't technically camping, okay, uh, I think this is great because you get away from it all. And if you can get away from it all, including cell phones and Instagrams and all that other stuff that I have no idea how to do it, I think that's better for your life. Who do you think, Norm, has drank the most so far this year? Whoa. You know... I haven't seen the consumption of Corby, but he would be a candidate. Uh, it isn't Dan, it isn't Giorgio until tonight, it isn't Junes, it isn't Gordon. Now, if Saroy were here, it'd be him. Uh, but maybe Corby or maybe a an upsetter like Jake could be in that running also. Norm, if you were in a tent and you had to share a tent with any one of your co cohorts here, who would your tent partner be? I think my tent partner would be Donnie, to tell you the truth. Why? I really like Donnie. We're terrific friends. He's funny, and it doesn't matter what mood Donnie's in. He's Whatever happens in life, he's always happy, and I think that would be great to have as the tent partner. Okay. So far, Norm, who is your early vote for Campound MVP? Campound MVP is without question Killer Kellison. He sets everything up. He engineers everything. He cooks. He does everything here. 
my MVP, I think almost every year is killer. Who is your least valuable player? Probably me. Um, oh. Yep. All I do is talk a little bit and eat and sleep. So I think that makes me a prime contender for least valuable camper. You're the heart and soul, Norm. Don't worry about that. <laughs> All right. One last thing. Do you have any parting words for your fans before we put you in the closet? <laughs> well, first of all, I hope the closet's comfortable because I tend to take a nap. Uh, hey, enjoy yourselves out there and know how much we appreciate you. This this station has a reach that's unbelievable, and it has an audience that's just fantastic. Thank you. Thank you for being out there every day. We, we wouldn't be the ticket without this marvelous, large, 